Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, during the summer season, precipitation, though not all of the time, tends to, tends to be scattered. So, you know, one community getting a shower or a thunderstorm, next community, next town over, not a drop of rain for the lawn or garden. And that's pretty much the setup for uh, tomorrow. Not every spot will catch a shower or storm. We'll show you that in just a second. Had a few showers today, but now Doppler radar is quiet. And better part of the evening hours should be fine, though after midnight, we'll bring back the chance of a few more showers. So the threat tracker now through tonight in the low category. We'll bump it up into a medium for Tuesday. You know, it's a real close call as far as whether or not we get severe or just kind of weak thunderstorms. But uh, this map represents not so much the chance for thunderstorms, but rather the chance for severe thunderstorms. And the better chance areas in red out in central and western mass, central uh, Connecticut, western Connecticut. The risk here in southeastern New England is there, but it is a little lower. So it's, it's going to be a close call and we'll watch the situation closely. So stay tuned. Oakland Beach and Warwick, it's breezy and warm. A blend of clouds and sunshine right now here in Providence. Same situation. Temps averaging in the upper 70s to lower 80s, including 80 in Providence and 82 in Smithfield. So a nice late afternoon and early evening. Tracking a cold front, it's through uh, Pennsylvania right now. It did produce a few showers over at Williamsport, but the Little League World Series games, uh, the Cranston game tonight at 8 o'clock should be fine. But this front moving very slowly, but it approaches our area uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and with it, the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Let me show you the temperatures. Nothing really uh, out of the ordinary. I mean, we're not talking about excessive heat this evening. We're in the upper 70s overnight, upper 60s to low 70s. This is 7 o'clock in the morning starting off in the mid 70s and while sunshine will be limited tomorrow we think there'll be enough partial sun to get us up to around 82 83 south breeze will keep the beaches and the coastline cooler in the upper 70s by this time tomorrow evening we're in the upper 70s with some scattered showers and thunderstorm so an isolated shower tomorrow morning after some low clouds and fog to start the day by 11 a.m 81 a slightly higher chance for showers and thunderstorms though scattered uh, tomorrow afternoon low 80s and we're gonna, the key here is hit and miss so again some towns will get one other towns may not get a drop of rain so it is scattered bay forecast has reduced visibility especially in the morning and fog and boaters of course be mindful though the chance is small the risk uh, for some lightning and thunder. Beaches, slow start in the morning, chance for some brief showers. Overall, I think uh, a Wednesday through the weekend is better beach weather. Air temperature coming in at around 78. So once we get rid of some of the scattered showers and storms on Tuesday, look at a nice stretch of weather. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Strong finish to summer vacation for some students beginning midweek with the comfortable temperatures and uh, plenty of sunshine. So we'll keep an eye to the sky tomorrow, especially during the afternoon. Some st uh, thunderstorms could be locally strong. Still looking forward to the second half of the week. Beautiful beach weather, though, for sure. Yeah, it looks good. We'll finish strong. All right, Tony, yeah. thanks so much.